Today I'm going to be using some gallium metal which turns into a liquid at around 30 degrees C and I'm going to be putting it into these moulds to try and make something which looks like Lego. These moulds are great and they're perfect for an ice cube tray or you could try using them with chocolate. And you get these really cool little figures. Great for cooling your drink. But I wanted to see how well it would work with gallium. It came in these plastic tubes which I heated up in warm water. Then tipped out into the bowl to make nice and molten. Because it's heavier than the water it sinks to the bottom. I sucked it up in a syringe and removed any water. Then filled up the moulds. I had to melt down a lot more gallium because I used quite a lot. And I didn't have quite enough to fill this blocks tray. It's quite fun to do and they look amazing and shiny so I was really hoping they'd turn out well. I left them to cool down, then popped the first one out of the mould. And it came out absolutely brilliantly. They're nice and heavy, shiny and you can really see all the detail. Pretty cool, huh? This mould made me eight little figures. Some of them came out slightly better than others, but they were all really good. Next thing was to look at the blocks. You can see a couple of notches on the top didn't actually form properly. I actually found the same problem with all the blocks I made. The gallium just didn't flow properly into the edges. But it doesn't really matter, they still look quite good. So I've got a nice big pile of metal figures and blocks. And of course, because they're made out of gallium, I've got to try melting some. I thought it would be fun to try heating up a metal oven tray, then standing the figures on top to watch them slowly melt. So I placed a couple on, and this block, and this is what happened. The feet just melted and the figures fell over. I left them on there for a couple more minutes but by that time the tray had cooled down too much and it wasn't really melting the metal anymore. So I decided to stand the tray on a couple of cups and slide a few tea light candles underneath. I tried to stand the figures up but they just kept falling over. I've sped up the video so you can watch it melt into a blob. I think the reason the figures fell over is because once the toes melt they become very unstable. So I thought I'd try slightly melting the heel area of the figure so I can lean it backwards against the edge of the tray. This one didn't work perfectly but it was a lot better. This one was really good, it just sort of melted into its own blob of liquid metal. And if I reverse the footage it looks really cool. You can of course suck up the gallium and pour it back into the tube or back into the mould. As this one was half melting I poured some cold water over it to set it into this really cool figure.
If you want to, you can place it into a bigger blob of gallium and cool it so it's sat in a bigger pool. And this one I'm just laying on his back to melt. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page and I'll be doing more videos about gallium soon. Have fun, stay safe and as always, thanks for watching.